Hey, biology people. In our last video, we were doing an experiment to determine the density of water. Let's take a look at how we analyze that data using linear regression to determine the density of water. I transferred over the data from my notebook. We needed to have recorded the volume, plus we needed the mass measurements. I found the mass of the water in the test tube by finding first the total mass of the Erlenmeyer flask test tube plus the water that was in it. I subtracted the mass of the empty test tube in Erlenmeyer flask. Okay, so here we're looking at our data set. I'll just go ahead and click and drag so we see that. So I'm placing volume in the first column. I'm placing mass in the second column here. I did put headers at the top of each column. This will make some later steps in my graph creation easier. Uh, I've also included not just my variables, volume and mass. I also included the units that go along with them. Here's how we create the graph. So we're going to click in volume and drag over and down so that I'm highlighting my full data set. I'm choosing under insert, I'm selecting chart. And the type of graph that we want to create here is a XY scatter plot. By putting the headers here and here, we already have populated my variables for my axes. And I actually have a title here, working title. We could leave that as is. We could change it to something, you know, maybe we're saying mass and volume measurements of water title here. Uh, I can choose a font color. If I don't like that gray, I can switch it over to black. I can reposition that, put it in the center of my graph if I want to. We haven't done our full analysis yet. We have plotted our data points. Next, we want to do what's called linear regression. You can see that they follow a consistent pattern. They're not all perfectly matched to the pattern, but it's pretty close. So if I click on my chart again, I bring up my chart editor and I want to go to series right here and I want to find trend line. So I'll check that box and you can see that it's going to add in the trend line. So this is the line of best fit. Now under here, it's asking me about a label. Instead of none, choose use equation. And that will display our equation for this analysis right up here. This is the equation in the form y equals mx plus b, mx. So m would be equal to 1.05. Here's x. 0 0.0237 is our intercept point. Go to my legend because I don't want it at the top. It's going to auto position my legend so I can move it. I'm going to put it on the right hand side. Here's our displayed equation. Okay. Now if I click into this, instead of displaying um, mass, Okay, so what's remaining on this graph is the interpretation. And uh, what we want to do is look at the equation of our line. So we see that right here, 1.05 times X plus 0.237. Yeah, I don't like that. Let's go like that. Okay, so the equation for our line, 1.05 X plus 0.237. Now the intercept value we're not really going to be using for our analysis. What we're most interested in is the slope value, 1.05. On this graph, slope is rise over run, which is mass over volume. Mass over volume is density. The slope that we get on the linear regression analysis is actually the density of the liquid that we were testing. The density of water is 1.0 grams per mil. Our experimental value is 1.05 grams per milliliter. So we're a little off. There is a little bit of error in our measurements that's causing that, but our result is very close to the accepted density of water. So that was a look at linear regression analysis for AP biology. I hope you found this video helpful. If you'd like to learn more about density and its importance in biology, you might want to check out this video right here.